minor volcanic eruptions could cascade into a global catastrophe, according to the University of Cambridge. Now, currently, much of the thinking around risks posed by volcanoes follow a simple equation. The bigger the likely eruption, the worse it will be for society and human welfare. However, a team of experts now argues that too much focus is on the risks of massive yet rare volcanic explosions, while far too little attention is paid to the potential domino effects of moderate eruptions in key parts of the planet. Now, the team has identified seven pinch points where clusters of relatively small but active volcanoes sit alongside vital infrastructure that, if paralyzed, could have a catastrophic global consequence. And these regions include volcano groups in Taiwan, North Africa, the North Atlantic, and of course, the Northwestern United States, which we're going to talk about now. Now, volcanologists with the University of Oregon and the USGS say an eruption similar to Mount St. Helens will happen again in our lifetimes. Now, the last major eruption in the Cascades occurred on May 18, 1980, when Mount St. Helens erupted. Leif Karlstrom, a volcanologist with the University of Oregon, says the likelihood of a volcanic eruption is very high. Now, Mount St. Helens has been very active in our lifetimes. And if we were to put our money on a volcano erupting, we would put it on Mount St. Helens. Now, we will see another volcanic eruption in our lifetimes in the Cascades. I can't tell you when or where, but statistically speaking, we will. And a report done by the USGS back in 2018 highlights 161 volcanoes in the, in the United States, and they rank the different volcanoes by very high risk, high risk, moderate, low, and very low. And you can check out the report for yourself. The link will be below. Now, they re rated 18 volcanoes as high risk, uh, and eight of those are in Oregon and Washington. Mount St. Helens was number two on the list, with Mount Rainier number three, and Mount Shasta number five, Mount Hood number six, and the Three Sisters number seven on the list. Now, predicting when an eruption will happen uh, is almost impossible, except that volcanoes in the Cascades give warning, and they do provide clues often before the eruption. Now, there are many clear precursors uh, to not all, but most volcanic eruptions. A volcano experiencing unrest will exhibit elevated seismicity. So small earthquakes, you'd see ground deformation and the ground around the volcano swelling up in places. You'd see elevated gas emissions and other phenomena like ground cracking. Now, the volcanoes in the Cascades can erupt in two ways. Either there would be a blast of ash, rock, and debris, similar to the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, or they could have a gradual eruption where there's a slow flow of lava which travels long distances. Now, the run-ups to eruptions can be days, weeks, months in some cases. So typically, we do have warning, especially in the Cascades. Uh, any of you that are as old as I am remember Mount St. Helens. There was fair warning and people were evacuated from the region. Now some stayed. Um, so unlike the next big earthquake, volcanic eruptions typically provide warning, especially in the Cascades from our experience. And that's good news because up to five volcanoes at a time have been erupting in the Cascades at once. In fact, 200 years ago, we had Mount Shasta, Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, Glacier Peak, and Mount Baker, maybe even Rainier, all erupting around 200 years ago. That's six Cascade eruptions 200 years ago, almost at the same time. And we are due for more. Now, if you look at the periodicity of eruptions, Mount St. Helens looks like the best uh, chance for the next eruption. But could be Lassen Peak, 
Could be Shasta. Could be Hood. Could be Glacier. Could be Baker. We will have warning. There'll be seismic swarms. There'll be ground deformation. There'll be magma being put in place before the big boom. And what I find interesting is that we've re renamed all these volcanoes. They had original names. And the Yamakaisham Yaina eruptions, or the Cascade eruptions, they're now called, all of the volcanoes have original native names. And I'll link you to this map if you're interested below. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. The Cascades will erupt again in the near future, and we will have warning. So watch the channel, subscribe if you haven't, share this with like-minded people, and be safe in the meantime. Mm -hmm.